प्रॉब्लम नंबर टू फ्रॉम सेक्शन ऑफ सॉलिड द सॉलिड इज अ स्क्वायर पिरामिड बेस इज 40 एम एंड हाइट इज 65 फाइव एम एम हैज इट्स बेज ऑन एच पी विच इज रेस्टिंग ऑन एच पी ऑल द एजिस ऑफ द बेज इक्वली इंक्लाइन टू वी पी दैट मीन्स यू हैव टू ड्रॉ फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल एक्स वाई लाइन equally inclined that means like this so you have to draw a one line for 45 degree angle reference in section of solid you have to lap uh, as much as a small uh, distance because uh, the true shape will be gone out of the page it's be careful with that thing so this is a 45 degree here and 45 from here draw a line a distance is 40 mm this distance because uh, the side is you can see the side is uh, 40 mm distance and draw here also 40 mm distance from this now draw parallel lines and complete the square so this if this is a pyramid then you have to construct a square but uh, uh, that will draw at the end so this point is a b c and d this is your center point o now transfer all the points here and the height is 65 so measure a uh, 65 mm from this line and draw an axis complete the front view as a triangle so this point is o dash this is a dash b dash d dash and c dash now we have to find out the sectional plane so it is cut by the section plane perpendicular to vp so this plane is perpendicular to vp and inclined to 45 so if the plane is inclined to hp then uh, the sectional line is uh, observed in a front view so here you can see the uh, sectional line so you have to find out the position of it so it is at an angle of 45 degree and bisecting the axis so you have to draw, find out the middle point of this line so if you can divide this into two equal parts you uh, for that i will use this method because i all i all also need to draw Mm, that line uh, reference line so it is anywhere over here i also need to draw a, a inclination line so reference line so i'll use this so this is your center point 
and from center point the axis will be at an angle of 45 degree so measure this distance like this this angle is 45 and draw a line passing from the center as a section line section line you have to draw it thick at ends so at ends you have to make it thick so this is a section line actually and the upper part of the uh, solid will be removed so you have to draw your arrows like this in downward direction this is s s this s that means sectional because this is the sectional line now you have to transfer all the first of all find out the points on the corners so these are the three points which you find which section place is affecting this is the point number one because here only one edges is there here two edges so you have to write down number two dash here the only one three dash and again written back here that is a four dash point so there are four points you have to find out four points here so you have to transfer this point transfer this point to the edges like this but you can see this is O dash A dash and O dash C dash you haven't draw a O here so first of all find out the O point by drawing very thin line initially so this point is your O point so O dash A dash so O dash A so this point is point number 1 this is O dash C dash this is point number 3 so you got number 1 and 3 you have to find out 4 and uh, 2 so for that you cannot transfer a point on B and D directly so you have to choose any one of the generator or the face so I choose in this direction like this transfer this point on the line like this find this point so I draw arrows so I transfer this projection on this direction and then measure us uh, measure this O to this point which you transfer from above point and draw a semicircle from this so I have transferred these points in a two directions like this so this point is nothing but OD so O to D which is fourth point and this point is a second point so one two three and four now join them with a straight line because this is a square pyramid so you can join it with the square line So this is what you can see from the top this is the sectional top view but here also you have to draw this sides with a dark line thick line this is also part initially why I uh, insist you not to draw it initially because uh, if you want to draw if this part these lines are not useful right now uh, uh, after uh, completing the sectional view so you have to erase that line so if you draw with the thick line the impression will be there so it not looks good so once you finished your section part then you have to finish these parts but don't forget to draw it okay otherwise your problem will be not completed now you have to transfer all the points from this x1 y1 so i have to draw x1 y1 basically x1 y1 have to draw outside the solid but here i don't have any so much space 
so i i'll just draw it very nearer to my section plane actually this x1 y1 line should be drawn outside this front view solid now you have to transfer you have to measure a perpendicular distance from one of the point which is here you have to draw the projection perpendicularly from the sectional line like this transfer all the points draw parallel lines from each and every corners this line is perpendicular to the sectional lines this projection lines now you have to measure a distance so from xy line measure a distance of point number 1 from xy line and transfer that point from x1 y1 so this point is your point number 1 from xy line measure the distance of 2 with xy line like this and transfer this uh, by using x1 y1 so this point is a point number 2 measure a distance of fourth point here put a pointer on xy line this is your point number 4 measure a distance with xy line sorry this third point and put pointer on xy so this point is a 2 3 sorry this is 2 3 and 4 now joint all of them and complete your true shape so this is the true shape you can see from the top but here one more thing is remaining which is section line so you have to draw the section line here and here like this you have to draw a section lines so this is your sectional top view front view this is not called as a sectional front front view this is the front view and this is your true shape in actual practice you have to make it light whatever the material is removed if the material is removed then uh, uh, you can erase this part and make it light so only this portion is visible to you so this is how you can see your top view no sorry uh, front view after cut it so this is the problem number 2 from section of solid